This little stream, this little brook, becomes larger and larger, and it starts right there. It leads right down to the port of Yanis. There was just a fluke that we parked here. have your traditional Spanish souvenirs there, like Death Leopard, the Beatles t-shirts, all that good stuff. Not only can you buy fish, but there's actually a restaurant in here too. And I'll bet that is good eating. I'm gonna walk back into town and see what kind of trouble we can raise. We might be celebrating the Virgin de la Guia today. A lot of people are dressed up in traditional clothing. That might explain it. Or it's a uh, flash mob and they all showed up at the same place with the same clothes. Pretty ingenious. There's also a wedding going on. A lot of people uh, dressed up today for, uh, for a wedding.
This region is known for its cider. Hard cider, regular cider, cideritas everywhere. And we're definitely going to sample some of that. We've decided to go to Sedilla right here by the tower. The crowds have thinned out, so it looks pretty good. <laughs> Alright, that's a little bit. Stop! They're definitely not going to hire me. I think I got half in the glass and half on the ground. So that was a nice restaurant, right at the base of the uh, wall and the tower. But now my mask smells like croquetas. <laughs> Fewer restaurants, more residential, and beautifully historic. Plaza Santa Ana. One thing about Spain is they uh, really have a lot for the handicapped, especially the blind. We're going to walk back to the car now, and we don't need a map, we don't need Google. All we need to do is follow the water. We couldn't have picked a better place to park. Just a fluky thing.